All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we're actually in the middle of a uh, playoff game right now between the Seahawks and the 49ers, but Tom Pelissero of the NFL Network is reporting some, some pretty interesting Jets news, to say the least. The team just wrapped up their interview with Eagles passing game coordinator Kevin Petullo at 41 years old. Petullo has not been an offensive coordinator before. Uh, early on in his career, bounced around uh, Buffalo Bills early on, Tennessee Titans. Uh, funny enough, was actually the Jets quarterback coach from uh, 2015 uh, to 2016. So the Ryan Fitzpatrick years, the really, really good season as well as the really, really bad season. After the Jets bounced down to college and was an analyst for Texas A&M, long story short, spent a couple of seasons with the Indianapolis Colts as their wide receivers coach, uh, as well as a passing game specialist. And again, this past season, uh, 2021, passing game coordinator with the Eagles. Um, after that news, he went on to say that the Jets are filing an interview with Patriots tight ends coach, Nick Cayley. And, you know, this is another really young coach who has not been an OC before. He's in his 30s. We actually talked a lot about him in the video I posted earlier on this morning. I'll have that video listed uh, down below in the description box if you want to go, uh, if you want to check it out, along with the other candidates. Um, uh, ironically enough, the other young candidates that were all uh, linked to the Jets recently within the last 24 hours here. Um, but I got to be honest with you, you know, I'm looking at these names and to hear Robert, well, A, to see that the, to see that the Jets let Mike LaFleur go is one thing, but then to hear Robert Sala say multiple times in press conferences that they want to add that veteran, right? That veteran offensive mind. And to look at this long, long list of candidates that are in their mid thirties to early forties that, you know, haven't really spent a ton of time as OC guys like Marcus Brady just fired from the Colts uh, this past season as their offensive coordinator, uh, Buffalo Bills quarterback coach, Joe Brady, uh, who else? Brian Johnson, the Eagles quarterback coach, uh, Nick Cayley, Patriot. Like, it seems like there's a big focus here on the young up and coming potential type of coach, which is the exact same coach that that Mike LaFleur was, right? We look at the positive draws of, of LaFleur coming in initially. It was the up-and-comer, uh, ran a time-tested system, a guy who was going to be really, really good one day. He just needs time to uh, develop, time to learn, hone his craft as an offensive mind. Um, but it didn't really work out. Why? Because Salah's not Andy Reid. Salah's not McVay or Shanahan or, you know, the uh, Sean Payton. He's not... He's not really an offensive mind. He doesn't really have much input offensively. He's not installing his offense. When we talk about the Jets, we're not talking about Salah's offense. He's not calling plays. So in my opinion, and by the way, I'm not saying I'm right or wrong here. This is just my personal take. I want to see consistency offensively. I want to be able to know what the offense is going to bring to the table every single Sunday it doesn't matter if we're playing a great team or a horrible team. I want, I really want the Jets to be consistent. And how do you get consistent at the NFL level? I think it's veteran experience. Veteran experience. There's nothing wrong with any of these candidates, right? To be a up and coming coach, to be to have a lot of potential, that's totally fine. That's that's totally cool, right? More power to them. But when I look at the Jets' job. I think I would prefer somebody with a resume that is really, really long. Maybe somebody who's worked with veteran quarterbacks, young quarterbacks, been a part of great seasons, been a part of bad seasons. He's just seen a lot of football, gone up against tons of different defenses, maybe made it to the playoffs, maybe finished with the number one overall pick. Just a ton of football information. Somebody like Greg Olson. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with Petulo. There's nothing wrong with, Kay uh, with Kaylee here, but... Would the Jets be falling into the same trap by hiring another young uh, coordinator here, another young coach? Because at the end of the day, all of these responsibilities that we talk about, uh, or that sorry, that we have been talking about for the past two years, because Salah is that defensive head coach, Mike LaFleur had to worry about installing the offense, developing a rookie quarterback in Zach Wilson, making sure him and the rest of the offensive staff take steps in the right direction and grow as players because, you know, let's face it, a lot of these guys are young. Becton, ABT, Garrett Wilson, Michael Carter, Brees Hall, a lot of young, Max Mitchell, there's a lot of young players offensively 
So he has to worry about the, the, uh, the development, installing. He has to call plays. Like, there's so much on his plate. So much on Mike LaFleur, or was. There's so... Mike LaFleur had a lot of responsibilities. Do we want to bring in another 35-year-old, another 40-year-old, and possibly overwhelm them with the amount of responsibilities that the Jets require out of their offensive coordinator position? Um, could it work out? Sure, 100%. I'm not doubting any of these guys. But for me, if I want... Because another thing that we have to factor in, Joe Douglas, Robert Sala, they... Based off of Woody Johnson's press conference, it doesn't sound like they're guaranteed to be here for a long time. There has to be some improvement. The defense was top notch, right? So if you're an OC coming coming in the building, you you kind of have to have some answers on what to do with this offense. Um, so and obviously, like the quarterback position is up in the air, and the guys are still working to come back from injuries and stuff like that. I, I get it. Um, but for me, I, I'm just looking at a veteran at this point in time. That That's my take. Of course, if the Jets go out and hire a 30-year-old coach or a 41-year-old coach here, I'll support it. I'll back them. But uh, I, I think for me, the veteran route is the way to go. Somebody who's been there, done that, seen a lot of football, can handle adversity, can handle play calling, can handle developing a quarterback, uh, can manage personalities, can get playmakers the football consistently time and time week and week and week uh as the season goes on can we rely on that person so that's really my big question let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section the jets interview kevin petulo as of as uh OC, as a potential oc candidate and we'll be interviewing nick Cayley, the tight ends coach from the patriots uh later this week let me know your thoughts and as always go jets